I just had no idea of um, trying to, and we'll see if it um, comes to fruition. Making a video of what it's like with a camper trailer um, going through the tropics in North Queensland. We are in Cairns <coughs> at the moment. Um, so that out before flooding rain comes along somehow. Oops, that's what's happened. That's a boat. Well, I didn't know that was going to bloody happen. It's just a bit, a bit wet and mushy, but but uh, hey, we're having a great time up here. This is just one bad day. I'll uh, take one bad day for the 10 amazing days up here. Cheers. Welcome to another episode. Um, I'm Diesel from Getting Around Oz, camper trailer traveling. Um, just sitting here, um, have lunch here. Um, I just had an idea of um, trying to, and we'll see if it um, comes to fruition. Making a video of what it's like with a camper trailer um, going through the tropics in North Queensland. I guess the perspective is, or the idea came from the fact that we obviously had a a bit of rain um, at Harvey Bay, Fraser Island, um, which I'll uh, go back through to a sec. We got in at 7 o'clock last night, it was pelting down with rain. Um, we did a quick setup, um, then it rained all night, and it's rained all day today, and it looks like it's going to rain the next day or two. Um, but I sort of thought it would probably cover off you know some of the things we put in some of the other videos but also some of the, the less less glamorous uh, side of side of it um, and uh, yeah I hope it's interesting um, so I know it's something that I probably would have liked to have seen uh, before we come up here but um yeah so first thing is we just go back to what it was like in Harvey Bay when we stood up there in the little video I did I'll start off with uh, we've just arrived in Harvey Bay in the caravan park here all right so it's a real moment. We rocked up here. It was nice and sunny. We buggered around. There was a there was another bay that up the front that didn't quite suit um, the camper because it's just long. So we need something we could you know go side by side for the annex up. And as soon as we started doing that, it started bucking out of the rain. As you can see, it's bloody wet here. We got soaked. Um, took me half an hour to with uh, Anita's help to bang all this up. So that's just the fact of life with a camper trailer. With a carrier then you just you also you just pull it in and plug in a couple of things and open the door and jump in and wait till the rain stops. We didn't have that luxury. Because without the annex up, we don't get any shade. So yeah, like I was saying, um, it pissed down um, for probably 20 minutes. And now that I've got the annex up, it stopped raining. That's right. Started raining when we went to get that get the annex up. Finished just when I got it. Got it done and it's, uh, it's a bit bloody wet but now I can actually step out um, it's a pretty good pretty good park here it's just a bit, a bit wet and mushy but a bit wet yeah a bit wet not too bad but uh yeah got the mat down and got the annex up and it took um, took us half an hour um, and we're literally ready to go so you know pros and cons of a camera trailer versus a caravan um, there you go, I think that covers it pretty well, to be honest. Alright, so um, just another 10 minutes on and <clears throat> basically ready to go. Um, so basically what I did, so th 30 minutes give me enough time to to get the power cord, which I, I put in that box there. All the power cords go on there, power cords and ropes. Now I didn't plan on doing this, but uh, I just thought I'd do it while it's fresh in my mind. Alright, so <clears throat> in 30 minutes, get the power cord out, run him in, plug him in there. There's just a sheet that's drying out and it got wet. Um, got the mat down, rolled her out, which I have on the other side there. 
um, I then get the poles. All right, so I just, I have all my poles in there. So obviously it's just a little tube I put on, but I'll show you another time. So I get up my poles out, I lay them out on the ground, get all the vertical ones out, all the poles are ready. Um, the annex itself, this um, this be a big beige bugger on the top here. Um, I just have that sitting in the in the bag, in the bag of the on the rooftop, um, the roof rock, roof rack, sorry, the Pajero. Um, get that out, roll it out. Um, I have the poles sort of preset in position, so they're literally just ready to go. These, oh, I'll grab a shorter one. These ones here, they just click into there. They're just hanging out. It's all ready to go. Bang them up. Uh, myself and Anita. So basically, I'll just show you this here. I'm not sure if you can, you can see it. It's just a zip. You see that big zip line? It go, goes the whole way over. You zip that up. And up the top there, you just got the little Verco straps. Sorry, just walking in a bit of bloody mud. So, you run that zip across the top there. Put the poles in. I'll see that they strap on here, and these ones sort of on here. So, yeah, I've got ropes and all those types of things, but you don't really need it unless it's super windy. Um, and I got this out. Uh, I've got the tables out. Insides all done. Um, and right now, I've even had time to make myself a drink. So, in a cam trailer, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, and all this is done. Um, if we're just pulling up at an overnighter, um, it's literally 10 minutes because all the time I took was setting up all this annex and kind of bugging around. Depending on where you are, whether you need a mat down or you're not, or you don't, that's up to you. Um, and that's why we went for this thing the jaw fold, you literally get it in. Fold one out that way, you fold the other one, you fold the other one down that way, you put the ends down, you put the poles up, literally just goes just goes up like that, and you're done. So if anyone's thinking of thinking of a Robson, um that was you know one of the biggest reasons that we went from is we're gonna need something that's um that's nice, you know it's got all the all the covers and bits and pieces and all those types of things in there. Um but we need something we could just pull up at overnight and, and just bang it up in 10 minutes and, and pack it down in 10 minutes. So honestly, I didn't plan to do this, but anyone else has got any questions about setup setups for the rope for the ropes and molds, bits and pieces, and sort of stuff you want to see. Or if you just want to see me do a time lapse maybe if when we pull up and set this thing up somewhere, um, then I can just you know, plunk the camera down and give you a look at it. Um, stressful but uh it's not bad because i'm on holidays and uh i don't have much to worry about wouldn't believe it the sun's out now after all this and i'm bloody wet yeah um so i'm not sure if i covered off but um when we got back well we're on the ferry back from fraser island it started raining um, so we knew we were probably in for a fair bit of rain after that. So we made a decision when we got back to land um, to pack up the annex and the floor mat and all the outside stuff um, that night. So that way in the morning we just had to pretty much just close the camper and get going. You know the pros and cons of concrete slabs and um, just being a grass patch. The grass patch was just after a day of raining, a day of torrential rain. It was just soggy marsh and it was actually mud so we're slapping in mud didn't bother wearing thongs because the thongs were actually just sitting down on the surface of the water um so that, that was pretty rough so we're pretty happy to get out of there because there's massive storms um, coming through here at the moment so that's why we headed north but um you know coming up north now is sort of more the same and you know we had a we had probably about a week's week's worth of washing um, to catch up on and using a washing machine here at um, the Discovery Park in Ellie Beach it's four bucks, four bucks a load um, it's four bucks to use the dryer as well all these loads of washing you could spend I don't know was it probably 20, 25, 30 bucks yeah we could spend all this money on um, 
using dryers and stuff, but we just thought we'd sort of try and hang some things out here. So I guess the first thing is, yep, yeah, this is what it's like. It's I a got bit, creative. Yeah, <laughs> and he did well. So got some ropes up and we're just hanging stuff up. Obviously we have a little washing line there, which we, which we use, just the cheap Kings one, but yeah, rather than fork out 20, 30 bucks and on dryer, we'll put them up here because it's obviously pretty warm up here. So everything's going to dry out pretty quick. Got the sheets. When you pack to go camping, not obviously you say pack, halve it, halve it again and take that much stuff. Um, but when it comes to washing, grab a million pegs because you'll need them because you only get to do washing every, yeah, every so often. And pegs is the one thing that I've had to go out and just keep getting more of. So yep. that's my little handy hint. <laughs> yep. Um, I got a couple of things uh, hanging up inside as well. Righto, so back to, sorry, we are in Cairns <clears throat> at the moment. Um, had a couple of good days of weather, and unfortunately today, um, today's been pretty average. It's been raining uh, most of the day. Just, just dropped off a touch now. Uh, you can see it's all pretty bloody wet. Um, I think uh, last time I was doing this, I um, see we're having uh, some problems with the roof here, and they're sort of holding a lot of water. But what I did was I lowered the. Uh, come out here. Obviously, see the annex is should be you no, know, should be up way higher than it is. You know, I guess put it in perspective. Um, that's how low it. That's how low it is. But the water runs off beautifully. It doesn't uh, doesn't pull up here at all. That's the same on the other side here. So I guess you see in the guts there. How much is down? Right here. But uh, oops. Set that out before some bloody rain comes in there somehow. Oops. That's what's happened. Oh, oh, that's a bunch. Well, I didn't know that was going to bloody happen because uh, I just soaked myself. And I soaked the GoPro as well. But uh yeah, it's all the sort of things you can do when it's when it's raining is just uh don't take your eye off the gear because uh you miss something somewhere. Uh and if I had to miss that, I uh, might have had the water, you know, maybe pull up in there somewhere and start soaking start soaking through somewhere. So glad I found that and you know so you got the, the windows open here. You know what, I might uh, just even close that up. I'm gonna reset this up. Yeah, that's bloody soaked, so. Uh, it's the bottom half. So, yeah, so it shouldn't soak through, but. Unfortunately, uh, now that it's, that the water's come out, I'll be able to, uh, the water run off and that will sort of sort itself out a bit. Some of it's, yeah, that's, that's okay. But, uh, it's a bit bloody wet and I didn't really want to be. Anyway, um, yeah, not much else is going around, on around here. Um, yeah, so I just got the laptop. And now and I got a tinny here, I'm ready to go. And uh, yeah, look at this preparing a couple of lamb steaks for dinner. Anyway, it's supposed to rain today, uh, maybe a bit of tomorrow, but 
Um, yeah, I guess times like these, yeah, you find lots of little jobs around the place to do that you're probably putting off. But um, let's have a look here. Well, yeah, there's a bit of split splash in that one. I only just thought of checking this one. What an idiot, nearly got myself again. Apologies, I'm just hanging, holding this camera bomb with my hand because all the the, uh, the handles and everything are in the car, which is with the needle. So, there you go, when it's raining, don't take your eye off the body. Off the prize. Right, that dried a bit now before I open up. When it's raining as well, I can notice having um, this flap is folding like this, obviously, it doesn't stick. Um, the Velcro on the inside, but at least having the flap there. Uh, I noticed when we're, um, uh, geez, where was it? Harvey Bay. Um, no, sorry, it was Harvey Beach. This section up here was having water. It's getting down, getting down through the corner there and getting through the inside somehow. But suddenly, since I've done this, it's been okay. Well, uh, we'll just do a quick check around the other side. Yep. So same thing there. <coughs> In case the water comes up off there, it'll just come down. But since I've uh, lowered the annex, the water pulling isn't so much an issue. So, but uh, hey, we're having a great time up here. This is just one bad day. Well, I'll take one bad day for the 10 amazing days up here. Cheers. Um, so, she's a little bit flooded here. <laughs>